Tom Street here in Bayswater. Um, Bayswater, as you all know, has become a destination suburb over the last four or five years. I personally live in this estate, and I remember 10 or 15 years ago, it was incredibly hard to get people wanting to move into Bayswater, but when you consider just how much money has been spent in the local areas, um, at the local railway station with the brand new shopping centre, literally just round the corner from us, as we're, where we're standing here today, you'll understand why Bayswater has become such a destination suburb for people to want to invest money in. And today we have a brilliant opportunity here for any developer or investor to consider their long-term options and make, take advantage of that today and secure this for their future. Um, obviously there's plans and permits to build two dwellings, but uh, our listing agents, Andrew and Mosca, have been talking to many developers and many consider a better option to go back to council and subject to council uh, approval, actually get a third dwelling approved here and put three on the site. So consider that when you bid today, ladies and gentlemen, that there's a definite opportunity, obviously subject to council approval, to extend the dwellings from the current plans and permits of two to extend to a third one as well. Obviously, as I've just said, subject to council approval. Now. As a member of iTrack Real Estate, we are obviously uh, here with our staff members today. Andrew and Mosca have been marketing the property for the last three weeks. And the con particulars of sale read as follows. The vendor's agent is iTrack Real Estate. We are selling for and on behalf of the property for our vendor, the lot 11 of Plan of Subdivision LP 20110, volume 75998, folio 021, and obviously, more commonly known to all of us as 23 Elm Street Bayswater. The goods and chattels included in today's sale are all fixtures and fittings of a permanent nature as inspected. We are obviously selling by public auction, whereby unless you have a previously arranged uh, agreement with uh, Andrew and the vendors, a 10% deposit is required at the fall of the hammer today, and the vendor is looking for a 45-day settlement, which takes us to the 29th of January 2019. Now just getting back to the deposit, if uh, you need to juggle some money around in a bank account, we can take a $5,000 initial deposit transferred today with the balance of 10% payable on Monday if that's more flexible for you. Now the rules of today's auction are in accordance with the Law Institute of Victoria and the RERV in which I track are members and they are as follows. Subject to the vendor's reserve price, the highest bidder whose bid is accepted by the vendor shall be the purchaser. I see auctioneer will determine the minimum which the bidding shall be advanced and no bid once made shall be retracted. If any dispute arises concerning the bidding, I as the auctioneer will determine the dispute or resubmit the property at its last undisputed bid for your continued bidding. The vendor always reserves the right to bid once or more by their auctioneer to refuse any bid or to withdraw the property at any time without necessarily declaring the reserve price. The law prohibits the making of vendor bids other than by myself as the auctioneer. And ladies and gentlemen, should that be required during the auction, it'll be very clear and transparent. Vendor bid with the nominated uh, number next to the vendor bid. And it's nothing more and nothing less than a counter offer made by myself on behalf of the vendor to simply suggest they will not entertain selling the property at a lower figure. I will indicate bids on request. If you've already bid once or once at the start of the auction, a raised hand or a nod is all I need if I'm asking for a certain figure. The law prohibits the making of false bids and it does provide substantial fines if you're trying to prevent others from bidding as well. There's only one last uh, law in auctions in Victoria, ladies and gentlemen. I am not allowed to accept a late bid. So the way in which we'll be selling the property today is on a first second and third call and when the contract hits my hand like so the property is deemed to be sold if you yell out a bid beyond that time limit i am not by law allowed to entertain your bid so i guess the message there is if you have any interest in securing your future in a brilliant suburb and i've got to the second call and you believe there's an opportunity for you, that is your moment to speak up and 
indicate your interest in the property. Ladies and gentlemen, we will get things moving. I wish you all the very best. It is a brilliant opportunity here in Bayswater today. Over to you. Where do I see a fair and reasonable start here on this brilliant opportunity here at 23 Elm Street in Bayswater? All the very best. I'm in your hands, ladies and gentlemen. You can't sell without bids. And you can't buy without bids. I think we've got some astute people here today who know the value of the area. If you'd like to start me off, I'm more than happy to take it at a lower level if you wish. Or I'll simply take a vendor bid. Who'd like to give me 650 and start me off? Anyone at 650? Well, at 650, ladies and gentlemen, I'll take a vendor bid at $650,000. Clearly with me, vendor bid at $650,000. Worth it every day of the week, and I think we all know it. Worth it every day of the week at 650, and I'll look for a rise at 20. That's 650 thousand dollars we have with a vendor bid. Looking for 670. First call at 650 thousand. Second call at 650 thousand dollars. Third, final call at 650 thousand. Are we all done? Finished and silent. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll take one final vendor bid. There's no point in me bidding against myself all day. I'll take a vendor bid to $690,000. That is the final vendor bid I'm taking. Will not take another vendor bid. If you want the exclusive right to negotiate with our vendor, I need a live bid higher than that. So at $690,000, clearly with me on a vendor bid, who wants the exclusive right to negotiate with our vendor? It's the greatest position to be in if you're buying real estate. I'm pretty sure Andrew will start the competition after the auction if you don't bid, but that's fine with us. Ladies and gentlemen, first call at 690. I will be passing the property in. Second call at $690,000 and we are very comfortable passing it in. Third, final call at $690,000. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attendance. We will take things into private negotiations. Anyone who's interested in the property, Andrew and Mosca, would love to be speaking to you in the next half an hour or so. And I'm pretty confident we'll get a result in the next few hours for our vendor. Have a fantastic weekend, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for attending.